All right, hello, this is Ross McKenzie, and uh, I'm doing today a review on the trailer. Now, now uh, Comic-Con came out with a whole shitload of trailers, so, um, so I, didn't, I didn't even get a chance to even review them or anything like that, so, um, so here's my chance to review one of them, the one that I kind of thought that really stood out and the one that I kind of was my favorite out of all of them and it's this little gal here who's gonna have her big premiere next year 2000 July of 2017 yes Wonder Woman yep and hopefully we can hope that they do that they do her justice. All right, so from the preview, all right, it starts out with um, with Diana, who um, who is her name, um, her birthright name, because she is an Amazonian princess. And um, the 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 trailer starts out with basically Gal Gadot who is basically playing Wonder Woman. She did play Wonder Woman. Absolutely, you know, was the, was the one kind of picturesque thing that kind of really stood out in Batman vs. Superman was Gal Gadot. Because when she came in, in Batman vs. Superman, she stole, like, the whole damn movie, as far as I'm concerned. She really kind of stood out, all right? By the way, I've got my DC my DC shirt here and stuff like that, so, Superman, um, okay, so the trailer opens up with Diane on a beach with what looks to be Chris Pine, all right, I'm only going to call him by the actor's name because we don't know who the hell the character is, all right, Chris Pine, all right, comes out and says, uh, says, you're a man. All right, because in in the world that Wonder Woman lives in, this is an Amazonian place, and there are no men whatsoever where Wonder Woman lives at all. Um, here is a woman who was basically was birthed by Zeus, and that is really all she's known about her birth. It's just that she's birthed by a god. All right, so Wonder Woman is basically a half god. A, you know, she's kind of like the female version of Hercules, you know, as far as I'm concerned, and for the DC Universe, right? All right, okay. So we switch to um, basically a more or less kind of scenery, kind of, um, kind of retro scenery that kind of looks more like, uh, like a World War One-ish type of scenery where it's like, there's loads and loads of uh, trains, steam trains going off and stuff like that. And you see a picture of Chris Pine and Wonder Woman both in this set, what kind of walking towards the camera. And then you kind of see like, um, like a buildup of kind of like what's going on in the plot of the movie itself, which is World War One and stuff like that. And you see again there's ballroom scene and Diana uh, Wonder Woman is kind of walking up to this guy alright and obviously it's the guy that played Stryker in X-Men right okay so um, so basically it's that it's that actor alright and um, her mother says um, says, uh, be careful, you know, I don't deserve you, you know, and so I've obviously she's, you know, obviously she's thinking that, uh, that, that there's some, uh, some emotional trauma, uh, trauma going there and stuff like that. Meanwhile, during the ball scene, she's walking on the floor and stuff like that, Diana, She's in a beautiful dress, and suddenly you see her sword in the back of her 
in the back of her dress. You're like, holy shit, okay. Diana obviously came packing in this in this ball scene, you know, ballroom scene. Wonder Woman's obviously coming back, and you know she's not gonna come there. She's not dumb and gonna come there with nothing, right? Okay, now you see some some World War II one scenes where you see some fighting uh, on the Western Front going on and stuff, and Wonder Woman's basically kind of rising up out of the out of the the scene where she's kind of got these golden boots on and stuff like that her costume looks absolutely fucking awesome all right her costume looks fucking awesome okay that's what i noticed myself they do a close up shot of the lasso of truth fucking awesome accurate you know She's using it in these action scenes and stuff. These action scenes are going, you know, and stuff like that. She's, like, sitting there kind of taking some some guys down, some soldiers down with the lasso of truth. You're like, holy shit, man. This is the Wonder Woman we wanted all the fucking long. All right? Then, basically, you see her and... And... And Chris Pine is like, she's like talking to Chris Pine again. And she says, you can't control what I do. And I'm like thinking, yeah, no shit, you're a half god. Of course we can't, we can't control what you do. All right. Then we get the scene, in scenes where she's, where she's like kicking, kicking ass in like this, uh, in like this, um, this like building and stuff like that. This kind of like crumbled up looking building and stuff, just kicking these guys' ass. And she threw this guy to the wall and stuff like that. And you're like, holy shit, man. You're like, this is it. This is the Wonder Woman that we wanted all along, okay? Then that fucking awesome music comes up with the theme, you know. Dun -dun 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 you know, that music comes on. And then, you know... And then you get like a like a after kind of little after scene afterwards. It's just, it's just, um, where she's explaining this lady's explaining what a secretary does, and then she says, "Well, in my world, that's called slavery," you know. And then the secretary says, "I like her," you know. And, says, and Chris Pine's like, "That's great. Let's go," you know. It's like, hilarious. But I tell you one thing right now. That to me was the standout trailer. Why? I'll tell you why. One reason why is because all of these reviewers have been complaining about DC and how they're doing their movies absolutely piss poor and stuff like that. You know what? Suicide Squad is showing them where the hell those reviewers can shove it. They can shove it right up their ass because the Suicide Squad has already made three hundred million dollars, over three hundred million dollars, so they can, so the reviewers can go suck this, you know, suck the pay, the movie going pay, payers, you know, they could go suck their, you know what, you know, because it's making money, all right. Now we got Wonder Woman, okay, which I think is the movie that is going to shut the reviewers the hell up, and also is going to be loved by movie, the moving going audience. Why? Because this has to be the first origin story of the new DC Cinematic Universe. Alright, this is going to be the origin story. And it's ironic that they, they took one of the DC Trinity, the last part of the DC Trinity that we haven't seen, and may, turn it into a an origin story, okay? Alright, because all these reviews have been, you know, DC hasn't been showing any origin stories or anything like that, you know? When this guy, when this guy comes out, they're gonna be eating their fucking words, man. Because the best part that the reviewers said in Batman vs. Superman was Wonder Woman. Now we've got an entire movie coming out of Wonder Woman, and now... If this damn thing gets messed up, I'm telling you one thing right now. If this gets bad reviews and this gets messed up, then yes, 
DC, the DC universe will have to start all over from scratch. All right. Okay. We'll be doing a short review of Suicide Squad this week. Uh, well, m possibly next week. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And thank you very much. Can't wait for this gal next year. Thank you.